hi hello viewers so today we're going to see how to work with the list and the collection of the using the nogo.js so we uh, know all about like nogo.js is working with the um, mvvm pattern so that is what we are applying today so uh, i have some uh, static arrays that i want to bind those data into my table is a today's task that i going to do okay i'll go on the flip uh, my page so here i going to add a table okay and uh, degree and uh, final I just take a sub person page so this is what the data I want to display here so before that I go on to f uh, create my model so I go and uh, add a script file going to create a student factory okay this one I going to apply my knockout JS dot apply bindings going to new student factory then I going to create uh, uh, my model so I go and add one more function called to student model function student model okay where self equal to this then self uh, dot name okay name degree something I uh, will keep as a details okay name self uh, dot or something uh, like uh, details k dot observable ok post this details so detail going to have the collections ok fine ok here I going to declare uh, again one more uh, variable called uh, self this and self dot details 
equal to okay here I going to hold the array values so that will be like this uh, degree okay some few degrees we we'll add and some degree uh, some example degrees I'm adding I mean Okay, so this will be 75, 85, and 65. Okay, so I have a details. And finally, we're going to create the students database self uh, dot student students kvo dot absorbable array new student model so I'm using the student model see if you are uh, well enough uh, in uh, MVC then it will be a uh, good that at least uh, you I have the knowledge of MVC pattern then it will be a uh, good so what actually this mean of a uh, model what model holds uh, so everything so here student model uh, ha uh, accepting the parameter name Johnson Johnson here self uh, Okay, self uh, dot uh, details. Okay, he's uh, holding the degree, first degree. So uh, for him, so likewise, you can add a uh, multiple students details. Okay, Johnson's Henry. Okay fine almost my our function is ready okay go to the table create a table body t body data bind for each here we have a model called the students student I want to loop the students okay and uh, under that add some few rows one okay not few rows so single row in that uh, you add a column td so we have a uh, three placements data uh, bind okay sorry bind here text okay place the text of uh, name okay same thing you copy paste for the second uh, column here text must see details okay details so under details I need to show the degree okay and finally the percentage that we need to display sorry per okay Price percent okay so now almost uh, we are ready for uh, the data binding everything so we just uh, 
now what we done we created a model that model holds name and the details of the student that uh, details is array so uh, this array property accept the details that is what uh, all about okay details will uh, hold uh, multiple uh, things so details uh, contain the separate records that I am pushing over here uh, for this particular student okay fine so almost uh, we are ready let me go and refresh the page okay some issues are there we'll just check it's not binding Enable to process the binding text function return details degree and details is not a function okay so we gave everywhere a common name so maybe that is a conflict I feel indeed something and DT Okay, we'll uh, now check, refresh the page. And DT is not a function, so it's not returning the type. Now the student model. So everything looks fine. What was the issue? Oops, uh, I made a mistake for each inch of uh, spell is wrong. Okay, <coughs> maybe this is what the mistake I did. Uh, okay, we'll refresh and check. Yep, so that is what all about uh, some uh, very uh, silly mistake that I done. Uh, so uh, that caused a big issue. So we'll add uh, some class for the table. It looks very class. Okay, table. Okay. So okay guys uh, so uh, we are uh, done our uh, stuffs here so this is the way uh, to bind the data uh, f from uh, no code using the no code js so what have we done is uh, so we created the factory that factory will hold all the students details so that is what here that students have the list of uh, array so every uh, array that is a uh, strongly typed so i've used a model with a model uh, name i'm posing over and uh, the details the details have the set of collections that i will randomly pick it out and show you so uh, so this is the way uh, it works so this uh, in a future session we will make it how to work in a dynamic way so i have a json result how to push from the json result that we going to see in a future sessions so this is very simple tutorial just go through whatever i done from my side just to do uh, from your end of point of view how the things is really works and come back with us have any doubts queries thanks for watching the videos guys please stay tuned to get a more updates on knockout js tutorial